The first command is relatively simple and is called net discover. It is as easy to use and makes use of a slash 16 subnet during its scan. My network is 192.168.0.0 forward slash 24 and shows several devices currently connected and passing traffic. The second technique is my favorite, Nmap, and has very detailed results. I am going to use the minus SL parameters to give a very quick result on my home network, a slash 24 subnet. Damn, that was quick. But as you can see, there are a lot of IP addresses with no device entry, which makes it much harder to read. A little trick with the grep command and you can filter on all the IP addresses that have a bracket in the result. As you can now see, we can show all the live devices on the network. There is a dishwasher connected, as well as a fair few other devices, such as phones and tablets. Last is BetterCap, which has so many uses and you can watch the BetterCap video on my channel. For now, I am going to scan my network with a command called net.probe, which I have turned on here. It immediately probes the network and collects all the live devices. To display those devices, just type net.show, and there you are. It displays IP, MAC and host names in a presentable form. It is also a live table, so new devices will add in live time. On our channel, there is a video with port scanning with Nmap. Here, with Nmap, we are showing with the minus P minus flag that we can expose all of the open ports on a device. In cybersecurity, this is the beginning of pen testing and how to check if a device is vulnerable to attacks from hackers. It is essential to learn this.